Welcome to this video on basket moves. This is a really fun series of moves and the interesting thing about this, it requires no new Salsa Challenge elements um, beyond what we've already taught. So you can take advantage of what you have already learned on the other videos and learn some really cool moves on this one. Also basket moves are really great uh, in terms of developing the Salsa Connection. Uh, this is uh, fundamental to this, so it's a great series of moves to develop really great partnering skills, really great connection skills. So let's just uh, demonstrate uh, the basic basket move for you, and then we'll go through and, and let you know how it's broken down. So what we're going to do is start with an open break. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. So it's kind of a little basket. You catch the follow in a basket, pull her around. Now, what's so fascinating about this is there are really, really fundamental basic footwork. So Jenny, uh, the follow, she is simply going to do a basic footwork pattern and then she will actually cross a, cross a little bit in front as she rocks back. So this is just the base, basic footwork. So do a basic footwork, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now, the lead, uh, I'll do it from this direction. We're going to start with an open break. One, two, three, and cross behind five, six, seven. That may seem like new footwork, but it was really nothing more than cumbia. I'll do a cumbia. One, two, three, five, six, seven, but it's just stretched around. So you go one, two, three, and five, six, seven. So we'll do the move again and show you how that works. So one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. So here's the key thing about leading and following. We're gonna do an open break. And when we do this open break, we're gonna push and pull. Remember, this is the same thing we've been talking about in terms of salsa connection. Raising the hands, this is the, the lead prep. Then we negotiate the connection, and then we execute it, push, pull. Now the pull is also dependent on the salsa connection. So follows, want to talk about that a little bit? Right, so when the lead prep, when the lead lifts his hands up, we want to prepare for him to be pushing on our hands or pulling, something to happen. So when he starts to push, we push back, and that makes our foot step back, and then we, we right away have our uh, hook for us to pull on each other. And follows, you don't want to let your hands go to what I call this bloodletting position or giving position. So you don't want to go push, pull. That's not good at all. So that connection allows you to come back. Leads are going to pull equally on both hands. So push, pull, and you're going to step out of the way to the side. Now follows, if the lead does nothing, then technically you should just walk in a straight line. And the indicator follows that you should continue forward in motion is that push, pull, then the lead hands should just sort of disappear at this point. Just come off of your hands. Now, if you were going to be led into a turn, then you would remain connected to that lead's hand. But in this move, the lead's hands just vanish. And that just means you keep going. Because that's the last thing they told you was to go this way. So you just keep going that way. All right, now leads the next secret here for doing this move really well is when you back step, you want to actually step forward with your right foot. The reason for that is, that is from here, if you don't step forward, it's almost impossible to get behind the follow. So what you want to do is push back, step forward, then you can come around. So you want to be clear around by three and catch the follow on the hips. You want to talk about the hips, Jenny? Yes, please. If you do the like stomach, or, it's just, it can be very uncomfortable. So definitely go for the follows hips. Your follows may differ in height, so make sure you catch the follows hips depending on your follow. If you're used to dancing with a tall lady and you grab a short girl's Tell me she might like it kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so lead's good, good, wise words there. Now you've got the hip. Lead our foot is going to come back behind, like a, like a hook turn, like a roundy. And when you do that, you're going to move the follow to her right here and bring her back and step forward. Okay? 
So uh, let's do it a little bit faster and you can watch the details on it. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. So it's a really great move, very simple. It's kind of a flash move. And uh, a really important thing is moving the follow to the right uh, on the five, six, seven. Now, styling is possible here as well. And Jenny, you want to talk about lady styling? Yeah. So it's after we've felt the basket, right? So we're equal hands letting go. Then he's here at the hips. We know what's going to happen at this point. So as we step forward, we can bring our hands out. And then as he comes to the side, we need to bring our hands in toward our body. And then we can just grab his hands here, or you could do something else. You can do a variety of things at this point. Your hands could go up, whatever you feel comfortable with. The point is, is that your lead is going to be passing right next to you. You want to make sure not to be doing something that's going to like interfere with his safety. Okay, so uh, with a little bit of style here, we'll do one more uh, version of this. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. One other thing first, a style tip for leads. And this is really difficult to get over and I can tell you a little bit about how to try to get over it. If you go one, two, three, and the follow gets way out here, you'll have to get way down like this and bring her around. And I think that is pretty poor styling actually. So what you want to do is stay really close to the follow here so that you can stay upright and bring her around. So you want a nice straight body as you're going behind her, not leaning over like this, because that will just take all the attention off of her, put it on your kind of weird style. Okay, so that's the most basic basket move. Two hands open, and you can see why it's so great for connectivity, because if you don't push, pull, and walk forward, then the, the move isn't going to work. And fellows, it's a real test of your skill here too, because Many fellows try to anticipate what the lead is going to do. And leads do open breaks all the time. They're really, really common. But what you don't want to do is jump into a cumbia move. You want to let your lead demonstrate what you're supposed to do and follow that. Another thing that a follow often does at this point is, is to turn towards the lead, thinking, oh, well, he's going by me. I need to keep track of him when he does that. But follows just keep going forward. All right, so that's two hands open, basic basket move. And in a sense, it's the most difficult because you have to let go. Everybody has to know their own part. It's a really great move. The next one, same thing, except what we're going to do, we lead prep for this, we negotiate, we push pull, but then we're going to use the left hand to the follow's right hand to simply float over the follow's head. So we're going to go push, pull, float. Bring and it down. What Sam means by float is there's zero intention in your hand's lead um, to the follow's hand. And therefore it just moves over her head instead of there being um, an intention implied there. All right. So at this point, you still have your hands right at her hips and so she's going to step across, come, and as she comes back, this hand is coming over. And then, ladies, you can snap your head on one as you step through. Uh, the key thing, and Jenny, you might want to talk about that. Let's get to that point. One, two, three, and five. Let's stop here. Six. So, follows, you can tell at this point that we're going to be coming under this arm. So we put our head down. We don't need to do this. Just duck your head down. And then as you step back and come up, you can, in, you know, accentuate that timing with your head movement. Okay. So that's just one arm floating over. We'll do that one more time. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. Let's do that from the other direction, Jen, so it can be easier seen. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Okay, that's version two. Now we're going to do another one. This is one of my favorite moves of all times. Um, it's called Titanic. A lot of people know it as Titanic, but you'll know why. And we're going to start uh, right to right. And um, typically, I'm just going to show the move. Typically, we wouldn't go left or left over right, right. But I'm going to do that, and then on other videos, we can. you'll always know how to get there. But we're going to start left, left over right, right. And again, we raise our hands, lead prep. We push, pull, and then we come over both sides okay so we're right here 
That footwork is exactly the same on all three of those. Here, the follow is going to step forward and leads. You're not going to pull or anything. You're simply going to be like a bar here. As she steps forward, then as she starts coming back, then you will come with your hand over her head like this and finish the move. Okay? So we're going, let's do it this way. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. So that's Titanic, and of course, you understand why Titanic from this position here, of course. We all saw the movie. All right, so ty basic Titanic then. And one, three, five, six, seven, and one. There are a lot of versions you can do with this. So um, let's uh, add some fancy stuff, shall we? Okay, so we go well, one, two, three, bring her back, six, seven, here leads, as you step in, do a cross body, you're going to have to do the hand throw and then bring her across to a sweetheart. So that's just a cross body with a left turn to sweetheart. Okay? So let's, uh, let's actually do that from this direction so we can get that, uh, show that better. So we're going to go one, two, three, five, six, seven. And leads, you want to step towards the follow, throw the hand down and catch it. She walks across to cross body to the sweetheart. Okay? Let's, uh, from here, then there's a number of things we can do. She'll almost always, uh, by rule, step forward. One, two, three. And here's another great opportunity for styling. And that is, since you have nice connection here, you can simply bring the follow back five, six, seven. Let her step back two, three, and bring her out. So it's a little improvisational styling. It's very fun, very neat. Let's show it from this direction. So we're going to go one, two, three, five, six, seven, hand throw, two, three, and bring her across, step forward, then bring her back, back step, and walk on out. All right? So that's a really nice thing. And maybe, Jenny, you might want to talk a little bit about uh, for follows at this point. So, so we're, we're coming across, then what? Okay, so my main point of connectivity that we have going on here is in our fingertips. And it's a strong tension that's right in our fingertips. Those, that strong tension gives me the indicator that means I need to be completely engaged throughout my whole frame, like with strength. So with that connection, then he's got a lot of control over what he can do and I can just sort of follow along with that based on the frame that I have in my arms and I don't just, you know, let my arms be pulled back. I move my whole body back. Okay, so from here at Leeds, I want to show one other thing, then we'll show one other version. So we're going to step forward one, two, three. I like to just stay without doing any basic footwork, just bring her back five, six, seven. Now here, Leeds, you'll have a tendency to get all uh, excited and try to get her to move forward. But this is a point where it's a one count and she's going to want to step back. So let her step back. Then you can bring her forward and then you're at this position. All right. So one other version and then we'll have done some basket moves. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now we taught hand slip turns on a different video. So here's how we do a hand slip turn here. We're going to step forward one, two, three, and five, six, seven. And then I always like to end this with a kind of casino style move, which is with a double alarde here and a cross body. So let's show that one again. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, and hand slip turn. One, two, three, to double alarde. One, and five, six, seven. So that's basket moves. We'll put on some music and show you a few of these. And uh, enjoy doing these. Great for connectivity, great for styling. Check it out, do it.
la esposa se me acaba la fiesta Tan bueno que te olvido todo Me olvido de todo Me olvido de todo Tiene unos labios hermosos que un caminar Que para el tráfico y todo el mundo lo quiere mirar Que me 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 que